Hey everyone, I'm Doug. I'm here with Graham, and welcome to the Student Fellows for Faith and Freedom. Uh, it's our first week. Graham, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're looking forward to kind of talking about some of the Student Fellows here, uh, getting to speak with them, hear their thoughts on some current events going on, um, and hear a little bit more about what they do with the Institute. So Graham, again, thanks for being here, and we'll get right into it. Um, just kind of talk a little bit about yourself, your major and why you joined the Institute. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I'm a political science major here at Grove City College. Uh, I first heard about the Institute uh, as a freshman, actually. I got to know some of the current uh, fellows uh, that graduated a couple years ago. Awesome. Um, even as a freshman, I think I knew I wanted to join the Institute uh, because I was just so incredibly impressed by the kinds of people uh, that the Institute attracted uh, as student fellows. I knew I wanted to be a part of that mission um, once I kind of continued in my college career. Yeah, absolutely. And here at the Institute, our student fellows kind of uh, go into two different positions. There's a marketing and a research. So Graham, if you can talk a little bit about which uh, kind of fellow you are and maybe a little bit of your responsibilities um, that you do in that, in that role. Yeah, so I'm a marketing fellow. Uh, and so we have a lot of different responsibilities, but the main one, uh, and certainly the one that the, the rest of the students know best is uh, marketing uh, our Freedom, Re Freedom Readers Lecture Series uh, here on campus. So it's my job as a marketing fellow mm -hmm. to work with the presenter or the presenters, uh, work with them about tailoring their lecture um, and trying to connect that to the larger marketing campaign that we have around the different series so that we can try to get students um, into the auditorium to have them kind of listen about some of the big uh, policy issues facing the U.S. right now. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And what do you think, you know, leaving college after um, you've been a fellow here, what do you think are some things that you've learned that you can take with you? Yeah, I think we've learned a lot of practical skills as uh, marketing fellows, mm -hmm. but I think the biggest thing that I will take away as I move in uh, to my job after graduation um, are all of the practical skills that I've learned around marketing. Uh, it's really interesting trying to market lectures here on campus mm -hmm. um, just because Grove City students are um, just perpetually busy and have a ton of different things on their plates. Uh, and so in order to have a lecture series stand out among all the different options for activities here on campus, it takes a lot of creativity and a lot of hard work to kind of have those events stand out. Right. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And final question kind of before we wrap up here. Um, it's been a really busy week in politics. We had the Iowa caucuses on Monday, the State of the Union, and then on Wednesday, the impeachment vote in the Senate. Um, kind of your thoughts on a really busy political week and a little bit more of a controversial one, too. Um, kind of give us some of your, your thoughts. Yeah, I think there's a lot we could talk about. We could be here for a really long time talking yeah. about it. Um, but one of the things that really stood out to me um, was Nancy Pelosi's um, reaction um, to the president while he was giving the State of the Union address. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, she tore uh, the script yeah. uh, for the speech right. on live television. Um, trying to make a statement. Um, and I was really disappointed in that reaction, honestly, for, like, honestly, whatever you think of the president, um, I think the, the presidency deserves a certain amount of respect sure. um, just for the office uh, that it is and what it represents uh, to the country. Um, and I think if you're committed to having real conversations with people, I think those kinds of um, unnecessary kind of um, petty actions, I think, isn't going to help anyone come to the table. Um, we have a lot of decisions that we need to make as uh, American citizens right now, and that kind of attitude and those kinds of actions are definitely not helpful. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Graham, thank you so much. Yeah, we really sure. appreciate it for, for you being here, being the first one um, in our first week. Thank you, everyone, for watching the Student Fellows for Faith and Freedom, and we will see you back here next Friday. Uh, go and like and subscribe below, and we'll see you back here next week. Thank <laughs> you.